Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today we would do something fun, I hope, and I'm gonna kind of just kind of take you along with me this morning. I have a couple of errands to run, um, work, obviously. I also would like to go to Starbucks because Starbucks sounds awesome right now and I got a couple gift cards for my birthday and I want, I want to use them. I really just want Starbucks and a smoked bacon gouda something or other sandwich, which is totally amazing. But um, I'm letting my car warm up because it is like 50 degrees out and it's the middle of May. It's it's crazy how the weather is right now. But um, as I'm sitting here, I'm also thinking about the whole gas situation in our area. It might not be affecting you where you're at, but it's definitely affecting us here. A couple of days ago, we heard about the whole like pipeline hack situation and I told Jesse, I said, we should really go put some gas in our cars. He's like, you think so? And I was like, you know, we were both at like half a tank and I was like, yeah, you know, just, just in case. And then obviously what's kind of taken place over the last couple days with people hoarding gas and, and just, it, it's been a lot to deal with. I'm like, well, I'm glad we filled up our tank. We didn't obviously get extra gas because I was like, that's weird. And I hope that it's completely unnecessary. But I also understand people's panic because you know, when, when COVID initially reared its ugly head, we were all like, Meh, it'll just blow over. You know, it's not really that big of a deal. And my God, <laughs> you know, so I understand the panic, but, um, man, the Facebook page groups, uh, like especially our local town group, they are, they are vicious. They are letting people know just how horrible humans are, or at least how horrible they think they are. I live, I live in a town that has some extremely, um, extreme views. That's all I'm going to say, but they are not being very nice to people. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, I'm going to stay in my little corner here and, uh, pray to God that my neighbors who have been sitting in their driveway have not been looking at me filming in my car. I'm headed to the post office and Starbucks, probably Starbucks first. I have kind of figured out the timing of school drop-off for the smaller kids and how the parents go to Starbucks afterwards. And I think if I can get there before a certain time, I can beat them before <laughs> before the line gets crazy because I'm like, I have to get back home to work. There is always that one person in this Starbucks drive through that leaves like three car lengths worth of vehicles in front of them knowing damn good and well that the drive through is like already backed up. <laughs> I'm like, why? Our, our Starbucks drive through is a hot mess anyway. It is difficult to navigate and it very quickly gets to a point where you end up blocking the person who just got their Starbucks order because of the way the line loops around. This is not a Chick-fil-A. This is not a Chick-fil-A. It is not the, the logistics of this parking lot. <laughs> Oh man, but there's only like eight cars in front of me, so we should be. Good. All right, so coffee has been secured. Man, that line was so long, but um, I'm glad I got some coffee and something to eat because I am going to start my work day now. I did also get in and out of the post office super, super quick, which was great. I have a day where I don't have a lot of meetings, but it's like a really busy time of the month at work, so I've really kind of got to just like buckle down and like keep my phone away from me um, and just focus on what needs to get done today and tomorrow. I've just got to stay focused and stay motivated. The last couple days have been a little bit rough for me because I'm still new and learning my position and sometimes I can be, you know, just a little like down in the dumps if I don't get something right away or I also... I'm also one of those people like I'm really stubborn. I don't like to have to ask questions and sometimes you just have to ask questions. So anyway, let me get started on my work day. And then when I come back, I do want to talk about some of the things that I have been loving. I didn't want to do a separate dedicated favorites video just because I haven't been buying a lot, but there are a couple of things that I have been loving and I just want to kind of like share again and let you know that I'm, I'm still loving it and, and maybe it's something that you want to check out for yourself. So let me get my work day started. All right, 
I'm taking like a little bit of a mid-morning break, but one of the first things that I wanted to mention that is a favorite of mine that was in a most recent vlog is my new work desk, and I'm gonna kind of insert some clips here from that last video, but I was sent a desk from the company called FlexiSpot. They make a variety of standing desks and standing desk like accessories like the type that you can put on top of an already existing desk those types of things and when they reached out i was immediately interested because i knew that i was going to be switching jobs and that i would be working from home and that i was going to need an option that would allow me to stand for at least a few hours a day it's something that i'm still working on but i've really been liking it because there are just days where even just sitting, you just need the area that you're sitting at adjusted just slightly so that you can like avoid neck and back strain. So sometimes I don't even realize I have the desk sitting lower than it needs to be and it needs to be like risen just a little bit and that's perfect. And then if you just wanna stand for a little bit, you can do that. Honestly, I do have a hard time standing for hours on end. So usually it's like 30 minutes here and there um, just to kind of help give me like a boost of energy and just to make sure I'm not sitting for a long period of time because that really can happen when you are working from home. I also love that they have a variety of color options. I got white to match my already existing furniture that I have in my office, but they have black, um, they have tops that are like a wood finish or you can get a glass finish, um, tops like that. I'm thinking of getting Jesse the black one because he's really been wanting a standing desk. And even though he doesn't work from home, it's helpful when he does do work from home and when he's doing schoolwork, so. And that is definitely a favorite of mine. They are, in my opinion, an investment. I know furniture can be pricey as it is, but I found these desks to be a little bit more on the pricier end, but given the fact that you can add the programming in there for like four different height ranges, it has USB ports, it even has USB-C, which is perfect for like my laptop and my iPad Pro that I have. So I thought that was really cool. And the one that I have has a drawer, which is perfect because that's where I keep like post-it notes and things um, specifically for work. So that's definitely a favorite of mine. Um, I'm really, really glad that I am, I'm trying out this desk because it has really worked out really, really great. All right, another favorite that I'm sure you are not going to be surprised about is my A5 Plum Paper. I'm kind of surprised by it myself because I was really, really hesitant to switch back to the A5 size from Plum Paper because of the color scheme. I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk about it, but it's affecting me. <laughs> um, so currently right now, Plum Paper only offers its daily A5 in one color scheme, even though they have three color schemes for their other layouts, um, or the larger ones. So some layout, it's it's a, it's different. I know that they're working on it. They responded to some comments the other day about um, they're kind of releasing the layouts that are available in new colors as they are ready, rather than making everyone wait until everything is ready, which I think is kind of cool. But I'm also glad that they read the comments and are really hearing that people want to see the A5 offered in other color schemes because it's clear that it's very, very popular. I personally was taken by surprise last year when I tried the A5 and I loved it so much because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna fit everything in it. As we know, lots of planners come in this like standard seven by nine size and it can be hard to change from one size to another when you've only used that size for so many years. So when I did try it last year, I was like, okay, I really like this. Then they offered the new color scheme and I was like, but why not an A5? <laughs> but I still love this size, even though I'm not going to and from the office like I was before. This is still such a great size because if and when we do start traveling and doing things more outside of the home, I know that I don't have to carry like a giant ass purse or backpack because my planner is not massive, although it looks pretty big on screen. <laughs> but 
I really do love this size. They recently had a sale. I believe it was 20% off and I ordered like four or five covers. That is another thing that I love about Plum Paper is that their covers are interchangeable. You can request that your cover when you order your planner be um, snipped already for you so that it just makes life easier. You can snip it yourself, but they are just, they're just a great planner company and I would recommend them greatly. And it's, and it's nice to hear that they have listened and responded to comments about offering other color schemes. So I'm excited and hope that by July, that color scheme is available. We shall see, fingers crossed. And of course, yes, I will be leaving links for everything down below in the description, but I need to show you this other item. This is totally Sam's fault from um, Happily Housewife. She always influences me to buy at least one thing a month that she has recommended and this one I I was a little hesitant about but I am glad that I purchased it and I'm even more glad that I've purchased it now because it's going to be a very portable and useful item to have when we can travel. This light is, is not giving me any love you guys. Let me flip the camera around and show you. So it is this phone charging stand. Of course, all of my stuff is sitting on my desk right now, but she had shared this in a recent video of hers and it charges your phone, your watch, your AirPods, and your pencil, which I think is awesome. But my favorite feature, my favorite feature of this thing is that it lays flat. So when you do go to travel, you can see that the profile of this is not going to take up a lot of space. This is something I will be bringing on trips with me because then I don't have to remember three or four cords for things. I have it all right here. And as you can see, it's just one cord. So I only have to worry about one outlet for all of these things, which is fantastic. So you can leave it laying flat or pop it up to stand up like so. Now I will say this, I had a loopy case on my phone. You know, it's the phone that has a little rubber loop on it. No love for the case plus this combination. However, I now have a case to fi case on my phone and I don't have to take the case off to wires, wirelessly charge my phone, which is great. The only thing that's not useful for me, and it's only because I have a newer iPad, is the pencil charger. This is made for the older Apple Pencil, which is fine but I don't have that pencil currently. I do have to take the silicone case off of my AirPods, but again, not a huge inconvenience. I don't really have to recharge my AirPods very often, but I am loving this thing, so a huge thank you to Sam over at Happily Housewife for recommending. All right, I needed to come down to the kitchen to grab some lunch, and I wanted to mention two things that I am loving using in my kitchen, and the first is the Cariel Meal Planner. I shared this recently in a review on my channel, and I have used this thing every single week for the last month, so I'm kind of proud of myself, but I really wanted to show you guys how I'm using the pages on the inside and what I love about it because really you can make any planner work for you in a way that actually works for you. So if the layout isn't exactly what you need, you can just do a couple of tweaks and make it work for you. So let me turn you guys around and, and show you what I've done in here. Okay, so I wanted to show you kind of a week from a couple of weeks ago. So in this planner, this page is blank. It is your month view and it's like that when you flip all of the pages, it's blank on the other side because you're kind of meant to tear this off and this is where your whole grocery list goes. As you can see, that does not work for me. So I have chosen to use this blank page as my grocery list and I break it up by category. I still put my meals right here and then I will put like any events, like Jesse was working late that day so I knew we were gonna do something easy or it just kind of reminded me when I order takeout I really didn't need to order for him if he didn't want like cold leftover takeout. <laughs> so this is how I've been using it. Uh, this was like a big grocery week for us. I don't shop this much every single week. Um, as you can see, when I went into the next week, the list was much shorter. I really didn't plan out for the weekend, but I, again, I wrote things like Jesse was off from work these two days. So that kind of gave me an idea of maybe some meals that I could make on those days since he was gonna be home. And this is really, what has been working for us. I really, really love this meal planner. Again, you can use it as it is laid out or you can make it work for you. That's kind of the great thing about having this page blank is that you can just use it however. Okay, my other favorite item in the kitchen is this OXO cookie jar. At least I think it's marketed to be a cookie jar. I did share this in a previous video as well. I use it to keep my dishwasher pods inside of it. My favorite thing is that you can open this one-handed because it is a push button open. So 
just like that. You can reach in, get your dishwasher pod, and then when you shut it, you simply push the button and it creates an airtight seal. So that lid is not going to come off. So it's really great because we keep this right underneath the sink. Just pop it open, get out what you need, and shut it. All right, so I got a couple more <laughs> projects done. I meant to go eat lunch. This is just one of those days where I have a lot of deadlines um, coming up that you know require my part to get done like by a certain time. So I was like, let me just hunker down and get those things done and then I can relax, which almost never happens because then I just move on to <laughs> the next thing. Um, and then I don't take a break. And quite often I find myself either skipping lunch or just having like a snack. Like I'll grab like some cheese and crackers and some water and bring it up to my desk. Um, which I know is not ideal. However, um, it doesn't bother me quite as much because I can pretty much decide when I'm going to take those breaks if, if I don't have meetings and things like that. So I don't really feel like I am... Um, doing anything unhealthy, if that makes sense, because being at home gives me a lot of flexibility, but also I am noticing some things that I need to be a little bit more disciplined on. Like if I can take a hard and fast break at a certain time, then I need to do that. And I need to like walk away from my desk <laughs> because I will just like keep going, keep going, keep, keep going. And I don't, I don't want to burn myself out because I am very, very guilty of doing that. So there was one more thing that I wanted to add to my favorites video. And I feel like I have to keep spinning to figure out where the light's gonna work with me. But um, I recently was at Michael's and I went to go pick up something totally different. And I found the topper to the Hudson cart, you know, the big craft cart that Michael's sells. And um, I was shocked. I didn't know that this thing existed. So when I saw it on the shelf, I was like, what, what is this? <laughs> and if you guys have been following me along on Instagram at all, I got rid of my cart. I moved it, oh, stupid light. I, I need a better lamp there on my desk and it just, it has not been working out. So I have like my ring light there for now. It's just a temporary situation, but well, let's try it this way. <laughs> Um, so I got my cart out of my office. I was like, it's just a space for more clutter. It was driving me crazy. If you're a crafty person, you know that you have, or, or even a creative person or creative planning, any of that, we clutter. We clutter and we don't realize it until it's to the point of no return and we just want to throw everything away and burn the house down, right? So that's where I got with this particular cart and I got rid of it. We put it in the garage for a few months. I was like, I know I don't want it hundred percent gone. Like I wasn't ready to part with it. And I was like, well, maybe we could use it somewhere else. So it was in the garage. I had like all my plant things on it, fertilizer, pots, all this kinds of other stuff. And then when I rearranged my desk situation, I was like, you know what? I could really use <laughs> some space for some memory keeping. I've been trying to do a little bit more of that. I'm currently attempting to participate in Week in the Life. I'm kind of like very new, so I'm like saving a lot of other people's creative ideas to my phone and then just trying to follow along and, and figure this stuff out. But anyway, back to the cart. I was like, I could really use a space for that. And a drawer just wasn't working. I also had a lot of pens and markers I didn't want to part with. Putting those in a drawer also was not working. But when I found the topper, I was like, this solves a few issues for me. So I kind of want to show you guys how I have it set up. The topper is available at Michael's. You can even get it online. I checked yesterday. Um, so you can order it and have it shipped to you or check it out and see if it's in your store and do a curbside pickup, whatever you want to do. It's still available. Let me show you my cart. All right. So here is where I keep my cart. I had moved my desk. It used to be all the way up against that window and I decided to kind of move it over this way gave myself a little bit of space here. This is the topper from Michaels. It's basically just a wood top for the Hudson cart. If you're not familiar with the cart, it's like the Ikea Rascog cart, only almost double the size in width. So there is a lot of storage. So right now I just have my paper trimmer up here because I was using it for memory keeping. <laughs> I like this because it just kind of hides everything up top. When this was open, it was 
full of stuff. Like it was like overflowing. I put the most, like everything that I needed to access really quickly up here and it was, it was a mess. This kind of makes it look clean from afar and because it's tucked in that corner, you can't see all of this. So under here, let me see if I can pop it open one hand. I have extra washi, there we go. And I have those little spice rack inserts from Ikea as well. And I just put a few of those down. I have quite an extensive collection of like Simply Gilded washi that I'm not quite ready to part with. There's actually like a couple hundred more in another area, <laughs> but this is what was taking up valuable drawer space over there. And I was like, you know what? I don't use washi tape every day, so why not put it somewhere where I don't need to get to it every single day? And that's another reason why I put it up here is because this isn't exactly the easiest thing to take on and off. It's also not extremely difficult, but it just makes it look nice and clean. So in the second part of this, it's not perfectly organized, but this is kind of where I've been keeping my memory keeping tools. So I have the four stamps that I own, <laughs> a couple of inks, <clears throat> a stamp. Some of this stuff for Week in the Life is in here. And not the best organization system, but everything is on this one level. I love it. And then down here at the bottom, I just have an excessive <laughs> collection of markers between the EC dual tip markers, some of their fine tip markers. I think I have some of their crayons that I've never touched. Um, some of my favorite black pens that I'll reach for every now and then, some Tombows, the Crayola markers, all those extra markers are just kind of tucked down there because I do, I like keeping these markers. I may not use them every single day, but I'm not ready to get rid of them. So now they have a space and they're not taking up drawer space. All right, so that is it for my most recent favorites. I, I'm actually going to go ahead and eat <laughs> some lunch now um, and probably get a second or third, is it my third cup of coffee? It might be my third cup of coffee, holy crap. I might go get my third cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, earlier today, the sun was not out, but look at that, the sun is out, and I need some help keeping up with that energy. I'm so glad the sun is out. I also know that my dogs are very glad that the sun is out. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different kind of vlog, kind of favorite smashed into one, but um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know the deal. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.